let us understand the sum of 100 terms in the arithmetic progression. S is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on to plus 100. This we term it as equation number 1. This equation we are reversing the terms and writing again. S is equal to 100 here in the equation 1 it is last term. We are writing 100 as first term. So before 100 it is 99. So 99 we are writing as second term. Next before 99 it is 98. So 98 we are writing it as third term. Plus and so on to last term we are writing as plus 1. So this equation is simply reversed and written. That reversed equation we are terming it as equation number 2. Now we are going to add 1 and 2. These two equations we are going to add. So the left hand side becomes S plus S is. 2s is equal to first terms we are adding 100 plus 1 100 plus 1 plus second terms 99 plus 2 plus third terms 98 plus 3 98 plus 3 and so on to the last terms here 1 and 100 so 100 plus 1 therefore if we add 100 plus 1 and 99 plus 2 and 98 plus 3 and as well as 100 plus 1, we will get the same number 101. Therefore, the equation is written as 2s is equal to 101 plus 101 plus 101 and so on to 101. This 101 is repeating 100 times. Because we have take, taken here sum of the 100 numbers. So, 101 is repeating 100 times. Therefore, it can be written as 100 into 101. Therefore, 2s is equal to 100 into 101. Therefore, after transposing 2, it will divide. So, S is equal to 100 into 101 by 2. So, if we cancel with the 2, 2 ones are 2, 50 is on. Means, 50 into 101, we get 5050. Therefore, sum of the 100 terms is equal to 5050. Now, sum of the n terms of an AP, we are going to find out. Earlier we have found sum of 100 terms. Now sum of n terms of an AP. So we know the general form of a arithmetic progression is A plus A plus D, A plus 2D and so on to AN. So here A is the first term, A plus D is the second term, A plus 2D is the third term. And so on to an can be written as nth term a plus n minus 1 into d. This is equation number 1. Next, the same equation we are going to reverse and write the terms. Then sn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d plus. So the before nth term it is nth term. It becomes a plus n minus 2d and so on to plus a. This is equation number 2. Now adding 1 and 2. Add 1 and 2. We will get left hand side sn plus sn becomes 2sn which is sum of n terms is equal to. So here n first term and here first term. A plus a plus n minus 1 into d plus next the second term here we are opening up the difference n minus 2 into d we are writing here a plus n d minus 
2d plus here the second term is a plus d and so on to the last terms a <coughs> plus a plus n minus 1 into d simply we are adding the two equations first terms second terms and the last terms so therefore it becomes 2sn is equal to a plus a it is 2a plus n minus 1 into d plus here also a plus a is there so it becomes 2a plus n d here minus 2d and plus d is there so minus d will be remained over therefore n minus 1 into d plus and so on to the last term also a plus a plus n minus 1 into d becomes 2a plus n minus 1 into d so here 2a plus n minus 1 into d is repeating how many times n times so therefore the next equation we can write as 2sn is equal to n into 2a plus n minus 1 into d now this 2a plus n minus 1 can be split up as a plus a plus n minus 1 into d because this a plus n minus 1 into d is nothing but the nth term of the arithmetic progression therefore up to here a plus n minus 1 can be written as n into a plus a n now here 2 is multiplying so sum of the n terms is equal to n by 2 into a plus a n where a is the first term a n is the nth term and n is the number of terms in a arithmetic progression therefore sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression can be obtained by n by 2 into a plus a n